Hello my Codians, this is your girl Talia with Blue Magic Direct and today um, I'm going to be downloading the Cody 7.0 Krypton mm -hmm. again for you guys just so that um, you can see it all done from scratch up. Um, as you see on the website the 16.1 is no longer uh, available for download so um, all you guys are really going into the 17.0 Krypton whether you like it or not, okay? Because right now they're already working on the Leah um, Cody 18.0 nightly version. Okay? So they're already stepping up a whole nother version <laughs> before we can even get over the crypt time. But since this is all we have to work with now on the Cody platform, I'm going to take you step by step so that you guys um, know what to do. Now I'm going to be downloading mine on my Mac system um, but it is available for Windows for Linux for your uh, Google Play um, and for uh, Raspberry Pi and other iOS's okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get right into this and like I said it's gonna be on Cody.tv uh, slash download for the 17.0 Krypton okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click my installer get that all set up Okay, so as we did with the 16, we're just going to give it a few minutes to get itself loaded up and um, ready to go. Now, okay, I'm going to go ahead and open that. Okay, and of course, if you have Mac, you just take it uh, from there and drag it and drop it into your applications. Okay, now uh, that's... Uh, in my applications, I can just get out of this and um, actually go into my launch pad and go ahead and click right on to Cody. It says, um, this is how it does come up for you. Um, now we're going to start the process of loading your add-ons on and also activating your PVR. Okay? okay, and I'll show you how to navigate everything. Now, first thing you want to do is look on your cog. This is now your system settings button. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. Mm -hmm. Now in there is your uh, player settings, your media settings, um, your PVR, live TV settings, um, interface, your skin settings that, that are within this system. But um, we're going to move on now to the system settings. Okay, um, what's important about that is now we're going to be doing starting the add-on process. So you can read through this. It's pretty much your display mode, um, your audio, how loud you want it. Um, basically, if you want to input a mouse or, you know, um, wireless keyboard, your internet settings, um, that type of thing. But we're going to go straight down to the um, add-ons, okay? And this is just allowing us to upload third-party add-ons to the Kodi system, okay? So you're going to have to now enable that. Okay, so here's your dis dis disclaimer, and basically you can read that over and say yes. Okay, so now we want to add on um, our video add-ons. Okay, so you want to escape out of that. Now, again, the in the system settings, which has not changed, the file manager is listed here. Okay, so we're going to click on that file manager, and just as before, we're going to add the source. Okay, so we're going to click to add the source. And it's just the same thing, just kind of looks a little different, but it is the same. And I'm going to add my Fusion, and I'll put this into the description. Fusion.tvaddons.ag, okay? So that has not changed. But what has changed is the name of the Fusion add-ons. Is um, Now their add-on is called Indigo. Okay, but you still need the same traditional Fusion add-ons um, address to get it kickstarted. Okay, um, so you can name it anything you like, but I'm used to Fusion, so I'm just gonna um, continue to name mine Fusion. Okay, so you can go ahead and press OK, and you know just click on it just to make sure 
that everything is in there okay so basically once you know that everything is in there you can escape out of there you can go ahead press escape again okay now we're ready to go ahead and start uploading our add-ons um, to the library okay so the one thing that you are going to uh, want to do is go on to add-on and we're going to um, enter our add-on browser okay so this would be like your um, your install from file, install from repo, um, that type of thing, which would normally be your program button. Okay, so we're gonna um, go ahead and install from file. We're gonna click on our fusion. We're gonna begin here, and now we see that it's called Indigo. Okay, so we're gonna click on that Indigo, and basically once that's loaded, we're gonna wait for it to um, upload to our add-on browser. Okay, so you can escape out of here. We're just going to wait for a little bit. Um, once that does come up, we'll go ahead and install and configure it. Okay, so just give it a few, mi few more minutes to pop up in your add-on browser. Okay, it's still not loaded yet. There it is. Okay, so we'll get out of here. Okay, and in your add-on browser, um, you're not going to worry about the program add-on. We're going to fully concentrate on the video add-on component okay so we're going to click on that and it's going to start initializing okay so allow it to initialize and now um, we're going to get into configuration wizard now before we have to worry about what um, system or what device we were putting on to um, with the 17 you do not have to worry about um, the device that you're uh, putting it on to the configuration wizard is basically going to give it an overall branch okay so all you basically need to do is go ahead and click install Go ahead and let that give it a few more minutes. It's just, it's the same amount of time as if you were configuring it on the 16.1 Jarvis. Um, basically the same thing there. So just give it a few more minutes. And um, basically what it's going to do is going to give us the options um, to have our TV add-on um, add-ons uh, loaded back to the Krypton. Okay? So this is very important, a very important step. Okay? So just give it a few more minutes to install, okay? It's going to basically go ahead and kick me out, all right? So now I'm going to go ahead and get back into my Kodi, and it's going to be loaded with my TV add-ons interface now, okay? So there it is. All right, so now that you've done that, your add-ons from your TV add-ons, as you see here, is going to start uploading into your add-on browsers, okay? So everything that you had before is still there. It's not missing at all, okay? So once it's finished, um, you know, giving it some time to load, I'll go right into our most favorite, which is Exodus, and show you guys um, basically some of the things you know they're similar they're they're basically the same thing it's just a matter how it's set up okay so now I can go into my video and now you see um, my videos that now my video add-ons are activated and I'm gonna go ahead and we can still swipe to the side and click our view and we can go ahead and change it so you see now all of our video add-ons are there within the uh, TV add-ons platform, okay? So now I can click on my Exodus, and I can click on my movies and um, my in-theaters, which a lot of us do. And you'll see, like I said, I'm going to change my view so that I can see all of them, okay? So now... All the, you know, all of your movies are right in there, like nothing's left, okay? So if you wanted to still go ahead and search, you can search on any movie, and it'll basically come right up for you, okay? So, and you can, like I said, you'll have to change the view because it won't automatically do it for you. Um, but you see there, all your things are where they're supposed to be, Okay? just giving you a heads up there okay so now I'm going to get into um, getting into your PVR um, so we're going to go ahead and enter the add-on browser and that is your uh, your IPTV simple client 
okay so it's already configured and enabled now if you want to put in a, a m3u playlist here um you can go ahead and put it right there usually you can get those from pastebin or wherever you get your your m3u playlist you can go ahead and do it there but what i'm going to do is get right into i'm going to escape out of this and get into my um my Israel Live, you know, add-on so that I can activate it for this, okay? So what you're going to do is go into add-ons, and you're going to go into your little box up here, okay? That's going to get you back to your install from zip file, install from repo, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and install from file. I'm going to go into my Fusion and my Kodi repo. I'm going to go into my International and go all the way down to my Hebrew uh, repo, Okay, so my Hebrew repo is already up there. I'm going to go ahead and install from zip file. Click on that. Go ahead and install from video file. Um, click on my Israel Live and go ahead and install it. Okay, so once I've installed that, it's going to ask me, do I want the Israel Live for my IP TV list? And I'm going to say yes. Okay, so once that's pretty much uploaded, um, we can go right in and escape. Okay, it's, gonna, it's telling me that I need to restart it. Just give it a few minutes because it wants to upload all of your PV. Okay, there you go, guys. Your PVR simple client list is now loading. Okay, so again, if you click on um, TV, you know, uh, TV or radio, um, you're going to have your, your list in there, okay? So um, if it's doing that, it's basically loading, you know, the list there. But I can click on that, and um, it'll automatically, you know, start playing what's in my... Um, my in <laughs> okay, so I'm going to escape out of that just to show you. And then here is all your radio um, channels. So allow those to load up. And um, basically, there you go. Okay, so and then you can click on come back. Okay, so you can click on there and kind of customize it the way you um, the way you wish. Okay, so that's just to give you guys a general um, update and idea. Okay, so all your your video, your TV, your radio um, is now activated. You can watch your movies however you wish. And um, just a quick side note: um, if you go into your add-ons and you click on say your video add-ons. Um, Let's see, I'm going to click on Exodus. Okay. Um, but I wanted to get more. Okay. You can click on this and on anyone. But I wanted to get more of my video add-ons. Here you go. Okay. I hope this helped, guys. Um, I know there was a lot of confusion before um, about getting your add-ons all together. And, um, you know, especially about the Exodus and the Cody and, you know, that kind of thing with the TV add-ons. And a lot of people are like, what's going on? I'm crazy. I can't find out what to do. This is so hard. Okay. So just trying to make it simple for you. Um, as I said, giving you guys the best Cody information and education. Um, if there's anything that was not clear in the video, uh, please comment. Uh, we will just do little quick snippets so that you guys can see um, some more things. And also, we'll keep giving you more information. I don't want to overload you with this video, but I just want to get you kickstarted in the right direction. Okay? Also, you can always go online to our website, www.bluemagicdirect.com. Dot com. Um, there you will find ebooks. We will be updating our ebook so that you do have the 17.0 Krypton um, tutorial in there step by step so you're not um, can, confused as to how to get that started from um, the phys, you know from the education point of view. Okay? So I hope you guys are all doing well out there and until I see you again, happy viewing! Have a good day, guys.